Welcome to Phoenix Basics, a video series providing an introduction to using Phoenix. In this video we will discuss what Phoenix is, what it's used for, and the function of its major components. Phoenix is an acronym. It stands for Parabolic, Hyperbolic, or Elliptic Numerical Integration Code Series. Phoenix is a general purpose computational fluid dynamics code and is applicable to many different problems. The main module of Phoenix is called Core. Other available modules include Flare, used in HVAC and building services industries, Flare EFS, commonly used for external wind flow around buildings, and Marine, used in Rhino CFD for boat-related applications. This video series will focus on the Core module. A Core module is capable of solving problems involving single-phase and multi-phase flow, conjugate heat transfer, radiation, chemical reactions, interface capturing with volume of fluid methods, particle tracking, non-Newtonian flow, and more. Phoenix is based on the finite volume method and uses a structured grid with cut cells. There are three main components to Phoenix. The preprocessor, VR editor, the solver, earth, and the postprocessor, VR viewer. The preprocessor primarily deals with the Phoenix Q1 file. This file contains all the input required by a simulation, positions and sizes of objects and their attributes, computational grid, physical models, solver configuration, and almost everything about the model setup. The preprocessor provides a graphical interface to set up this file, but is also accessible via a text editor. Phoenix's extensive capabilities are expandable, and you are able to specify bespoke formulas, models, boundary conditions, and more within the Q1 file using the inform facility. There is also some capability for creating your own geometry within Phoenix, avoiding the use of a separate piece of CAD software. The Q1 file is transformed into the Q1 ear. This file name is a combination of Q1 and Earth. This file is what the solver uses to perform calculations and generate a solution. Here is an example of a case in the VR editor. The solver code is called Earth. It is written in Fortran and can run in single or double precision on multiple processors. There is an option to compile custom versions of Earth that include the user's own Fortran code for a wide variety of uses. The solver uses the Q1ear file to define its sequence of execution and produce solution files. The primary solution files are the so-called result file and the FIDA file. You are able to specify other intermittent output files. The result file contains a detailed text summary of how the simulation progressed, and the FIDA file is fed into the post-processor to display results. A solver can be interrupted mid-run to change parameters such as relaxation or data output frequency. The solver provides a graphical window that displays information about each variable's convergence. This can be used to judge how effectively a run is performing. Here is an example of that graphical window on the same case we saw earlier. Postprocessor reads the file's output from Earth and can display these in various ways. The postprocessor is very similar in setup to the preprocessor, but provides viewing capabilities rather than editing ones. You can perform contour plots in any plane with a full color map and with velocity vectors. You can generate standard XY plots, streamlines, and ISO surfaces. There is also a function to create and save animations of your results, if you have a transient simulation, for example. The viewer is your primary method of judging and analysing the solution, and the result file contains additional details to help ensure your results are correct. Here is an example of the VR viewer window. Again, the same case you saw earlier, with streamlines and a pressure contour plot. Putting these sections together, Phoenix gives you the capability to construct your problem, apply the correct physical models to it using the VR editor and the Q1 file, solve for a solution in Earth, and produce clean and informative graphics and text output using the VR viewer. Thank you for watching. Please check the description for links to our tutorials, FAQ, forum, social media and TAMS website, and subscribe for more videos coming soon.